Hi, I'm Peter Kelmstrom of Kelmstrom.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'll talk to you about the publishing infrastructure. Once you've enabled that under Site Settings and Site Collection Administration, you can also enable another site feature. If you go into Manage Site Features, and at the bottom or close to the bottom here, you'll find the SharePoint Server Publishing. And there you can create pages library, not site pages, but pages. And you can also use page layouts. That gives you a lot more power over your layout if you want that. So I'm going to enable that feature now. That takes only a second or two. Now, when you go in here and add a page now, you see that that is created not in site pages, but in pages instead. I'm going to go in under site contents. So now I have a pages library right there, and there's the site pages. So both now work. But if I go ahead and create a page as I started to, this one is a good name maybe, you'll notice that the pages library has check in, check out enabled. And you'll notice that I also, if I go on the pages here, I have the page layouts. That's what I'm using there. So I have a lot more options or different option at least for how to use um, your page uh, as you see the if i go into the format text you're missing the regular thing there the text layouts let me show you what i'm talking about here i'm going to open that in a new tab there and that this page is of course a regular wiki page not a page layout page so if i go in here i have the text layouts those are the options i get there but here I get a lot more under page layouts. I have other and I have a lot of new features there. And I can also of course create my new page layouts, but that's another demo. So that's one of the things that you get when you enable the SharePoint Server Publishing on your site after you've enabled the publishing infrastructure on your site collection. Another thing that you get if you go into site settings is this bit, the master page. That's only available there. So if I go in here, I can specify the master page for my site. And another thing that I find very, very useful is this, the alternate CSS URL. There you can define your own CSS rule for your entire site and all the subsites inheriting from this. So that's a really powerful feature. And if you want to do some more advanced uh, layout changes, of your SharePoint site, this is really powerful. Another thing that you get here is image renditions, which lets you define different images. So when you upload an image, then it will automatically be converted into these formats. But I'll show you that in another demo. This showed you how to get started with the um, SharePoint server publishing on a site. Thank you for watching this demonstration.